Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. Today is the last series, last episode of Best of Indie Brands and this is the part four. I'm going to showcase a few more products that I missed showcasing in the first three part of the series. I really hope that you guys enjoy this whole series and if I've missed any brand, like mentioning any brand, which is like an absolute favorite indie brand for you, do let me know in the comment section below. But now, if you want to see how I achieve this look, Please keep on watching. Okay, let's start off with the makeup. First, let's start off with the primer. I'm going to take my Merit Glow Skin Primer. You absolutely know how much I love this. So I'm just going to squirt like two pumps on the hand and just glide it right across my face. You can immediately see the glow that comes through with this product. I absolutely, absolutely love this. I actually consider this as a skincare step rather than like a makeup step <laughs> for the foundation let's take our tear foundation i don't know if it is indie or not i really don't know <laughs> but i want to use this uh, i was debating between this and nys beauty but i'm still a little i would say new to tear because it's not been like two months completely from the time i've got this but i've been loving this product and i have been wearing this to office quite a bit and you can see it's like a perfect match to me and it does wear for such a long time so that is like perfect in my opinion especially when i have long hours of work so i'm just gonna take that all across my face and i like it to be applied with a brush i i do not understand the application of that sponge that comes with it it just feels weird to me it's not that you cannot apply it like you can definitely apply it but i feel like this with a brush can be so much more faster and i can build the coverage if i want i really like it with this kind of a brush especially this kind of a brush like a round buffing brush or like a BK Beauty 101 brush. Everything is like really, really pretty. I'm just taking my Tower 28 concealer. For bronzer, I'm going to take my Rare Beauty bronzer stick. I think these products have been used prior. But I just wanted to focus more on like the eyeshadow palettes. Especially, I think those are the brands that are not showcased in my best of indie brands. So let's use all of this product that we absolutely love and adore. My kids are back from school. So if you hear now thumping noises or running noises, it's them. This product is so easily blendable. One among my favorite cream bronzers in my collection, I would say. Really, really pretty. From the drugstore, I would say uh, the Milani bronzer is really good, the cream one. And also the Wet n Wild Cream Bronzer Stick. I love that product too. Very easily blendable. I think Call Me Maple is my shade. But yeah, Rare Beauty one in the high end. It's not even that like expensive, I would say. It's reasonably priced for a Sephora product. And I absolutely love it. Now for the blush, I actually have two products in front of me. M Cosmetics and Patrick Ta one. Let's see... Let's use the Patrick Ta one. We've got some time. Let's use that. Okay, let's actually first powder our face because we have applied all the cream products. Um, for the powder, I'm going to take my LYS Beauty Triple Fix Powder and just lightly set all my face. Such a beautiful powder. It smoothens out everything. Very, very lightweight too. Now for the blush, let's take Patrick Ta blush in the shade Not Too Much. I don't know how much it will show up on my face right now, but let's, let's see. If you've not seen it, it's a very neutrally toned pinky blush. So I'm just going to do the powder side first. It's a very natural blush for every day. Perfect. And then I'm going to dip into the cream side and then just apply it right on top just to give that flush and more natural glow to the skin see very subtle but very elegant i really love it we'll come back to the highlighter 
but let's start off with the eyes now and the eyeshadow brand that i want to shout out is gourmand girls you know how much i love gourmand girls i absolutely love their products i don't know which i'm going to use i have steph's nueva vida palette from gourmand girls and i also have haunted palette in front of me i have several more palettes from them but i'm just debating on what to use today so let's see i don't want to do anything crazy but also i want to use steph's palette so let's do that let's dip into purples it's been quite some time okay guys it's been quite some time okay let's start off with dr far this one the mid-tone purple shade i'm going to start off in the outer corners Look how pigmented that is. That makes me so happy. And I had no like eye primer or anything. Just starting off with the outer corner and then slowly blending it towards the crease. I'm also going to take a smaller brush with the same shade and go on the lower lash line. And now I'm going to dip into the lighter tone of the purple this one the dreamer shade and i'm going to take that towards the inner portion and then just melt it with that mid-tone purple right there that's amazing look how beautifully it just blended with each other love it okay now for the extreme outer corners let's take the shade Cooper, this one, it's a deep blue. I'm gonna take that right there in the extreme outer corner just to get a little bit more depth without losing the purple. Right there. Before the lid, let's take the shade Keep Moving on the lower lash line. I know it's just calling out to me, and I wanna take that so fun it is so fun i want to take the shade blessed this one i don't know why i just want to <laughs> let's see i don't know i'm just from the beginning i was craving a purple eye look okay so let's do that that would take us to a little bit more on the pinky purple side i think let's take that shade blessed i'm gonna take that right on my eyelid so pretty look how stunning that is it's these like toppery shade but it is a duochrome and it's so shiny so dimensional love this formula Okay, I'm going to take this Dr. Far shade mixed with Cooper, the two dark shades, and then just melt it on the outer corner of this eye look, just to melt it with the shimmer. Okay, now what is left? The inner corners. I want to do this shade, the convertible, the satin white shade. I feel like it's just perfect for this palette. So I'm going to take that. Look how stunning that is. It's just meant to be. That shade is meant to be an inner corner shade. I'm just going to plop it underneath the brow bone too, just a tad bit. I'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. Okay, for completing the eye, I'm going to take this Hindash's eye pencil in the shade Intra. I cannot even tell you how much I use this eye pencil. Uh, I really, really love this one. It's such a beautiful chocolatey brown shade. I really, really am obsessed by this shade, okay? Now, for the lip liner, I'm going to take my Makeup by Mario lip liner in the shade, what chai is this? Spice chai. Let me finish off this and then I'll come right back. So once we have that, for the lipstick, uh, I have Ladybug Glow's lipstick as well as Makeup by Mario's lipstick. Uh, yeah, this would match. Let me see Ladybug Glow. Yeah, even this would match. Ladybug Glow's uh, lipstick is more like, um, like, it's on matte. But the Makeup by Mario one is matte. 
let's take this one this is because you've seen me use the makeup by mario one so much let me actually just swatch it for you guys this one is in the shade eden one of my favorite shades from lady Baglow. and this one is in the shade fanda from uh, makeup by mario very similar you will know my taste the below one is makeup by mario you literally can see that's like the same shade but one with the sheen and one with the matte that's comical okay <laughs> you clearly know my taste now okay for the lip gloss i'm going to take my ensley rain lip gloss and this one is in the shade bell bottom bloom I'm just going to take a tad bit because it is loud i'm just going to take it on like the center tippy top just right there okay just to give it something but not too much <laughs> And now finally for the highlighter, I'm going to take my Ofra Cosmetics highlighter. Let's dip into this one. And that is the shade Blissful. This one, I feel like that would match perfectly with this look. Love Ofra's highlighter. There you go. Just so stunning. Okay, I'm going to finish off by just taking a powder brush and just finishing off my face. So I'm taking the same powder right in the center, like just strategically placing it right there in the center of my face just to get a little bit more brightness. So let me give you a close up. I love the way how this turned out. You know how much I love my purples and I was like, I was waiting for this okay waiting for this i definitely wanted to showcase gourmand girls too and a few more uh, products that i've not used for your brands that i've not used before in my indie makeup brands i really hope that you guys enjoyed the series of like four episodes i link everything in the description box below for you guys and as much as i can link in the i cards above but that's all for today guys if you did like this video you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post six i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys